my country Barbados and to my flag to uphold and defend their honor and by my living to do credit to my nation wherever I go. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Noel Lynch and I'm Barbados' ambassador in the United States, in Washington DC to be exact. Let me be the first to welcome you to this virtual gala, the final event in our series of events, the week of activities, the road to the Republic. From day one, from the very first event on Sunday, the 21st of November, you've been engaged, you've been involved, and you've participated. We are proud of our diaspora and proud of all you've done throughout this week of activities. The week that began with the church service in both Toronto and in London, we next had a, a most entertaining and enlightening event with Sir Hilary Beckles, the Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, who talked about why Barbados needs to become a republic at this time. The next event we had on our calendar was the virtual quiz evening, which was coordinated and hosted by the Barbados Association of Washington, D.C. Wednesday night, the event that was most patronized by the diaspora was Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley and members of her cabinet as we engaged them in a town hall, asking them all about Barbados and all that her administration had achieved and what she intended to do in the future for all Barbadians. And then of course, on Thursday evening, there was we solved the simple issue that has been going on for decades in our society, of whether or not conkeys should have either raisins or not. We also had a mixologist that showed us how to mix drinks. As a matter of fact, the conky cocktail was actually the most entertaining cocktail of all. And then some people are still wearing their school ties because the school tie event on Friday evening was an event that really engaged so many of you. I was actually excited about how excited you were about being involved in that exercise. And this evening, after some heavy stuff on the one end and some lighter stuff on the other end, we are now engaging in entertainment this evening. You're gonna receive entertainment from all over the world, but initially, you're gonna receive entertainment from South America, from North America, and of course, from Central America. You're also gonna receive entertainment from Europe. This is an exciting time, but I really want to thank all of the missions that have worked all over the globe to put this together. But most I want to thank you, the diaspora. Barbados is at a serious and critical crossroad in its development. We're here tonight to celebrate 55 years of independence. We're also on the cusp of becoming, for the first time, a democratic republic. A Barbadian finally will be our head of state. I want to thank you again for joining us this evening and for all you've done to bring Barbados thus far. We don't just want your support as a diaspora, we need your support to take Barbados to the next level. But sit back, enjoy, and thank you all again for joining us this evening and for joining us on this activity, The Road to the Republic. Thank you so much, His Excellency Noel and Anderson Lynch, who is the Ambassador of Barbados to the United States. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Virtual Independence Gala. My name is Caroline C.C. Reed, and I have the honor of being the host for this evening. So you get to sit back, relax, because we're going to bring you a lot of entertainment. We've got some prizes to give away, and we're going to meet some friends near and far. Right now, we're coming to you live from Alaro Court, and at this time, I'd like to welcome the Prime Minister of Barbados, the Right Honorable Mia Amor Motley. Good night, Barbadians. The mere fact that I'm giving you this address on this video means that I'm so sorry that you're not in Bridgetown with us. And if you were here, we would be able to celebrate the ushering in of our parliamentary republic and of course the election of the first Barbadian head of state, Dame Sandra Prunella Mason. But you know, even though you're not here, I know your hearts are with us and that you will be with us sometime soon. But it's only appropriate that I send this message to you because we have determined that technology has made the diaspora a relevant construct because you are really and truly still part of what we are doing here in Barbados. And the truth is 
that you can engage, you can invest, you can relate to us. And then of course with travel, with the exception of the restrictions put on us regrettably by COVID, you can also be here when you want. This has been a difficult year for our country. And we have gone through, yes, the worst pandemic as you have in 102 years. The worst volcanic ashfall in 119 years when the volcano Soufre in St. Vincent erupted. The worst and first hurricane Elsa in 66 years. It has challenged us in every respect. But we stand here proud and resilient. And even as I speak to you today, I'm comforted by the fact that confidence abounds in our journey. We have had many, many, many well wishes on this journey of a republic, a parliamentary republic. But we've also had, in addition to those journeys, other symbols and signs. Today, as I speak, for example, Standard & Poor's upheld Barbados's rating and gave us a stable outlook, even though we have gone through all of those things that I told you about and are still in an IMF program. Our bonds continue to trade above par, such that the things that we wanted to do with respect to our debt for nature swap had to be shelved and we had to take a different approach to it because there is tanta confidence in what we are doing. There are companies who are getting ready to do serious expansion in the manufacturing sector, like our oldest rum company, Mount Gay. There are others in the tourism sector who have literally broken ground. And even though we know that COVID is still with us and likely to be endemic, we have determined, my friends, that this is a marathon, not a sprint. And those Barbadians who went before us knew what it was to rise up and live above all of the challenges and all of the tyranny that they faced, decade by decade, century by century. We have that in our DNA. And we have the ability to be global citizens with Bajan roots engaging the world. And those of you who have gone into the diaspora have shown that it is entirely possible to go and do better. But the time has also come for us to recognize that wherever we are on this earth, whether we are Bajans by birth, Bajans by marriage, Bajans by descent, or Bajans by choice, that we have now to pull together and to fight these challenges and to lift our country with the hope and the bounty that others believe is ours to come, to be world class, not only in the services that we deliver, not only in the goods that we produce, but in the voice that is necessary to shape humanity. For as we fight the greatest crisis of our time, the climate crisis, we know that our voice is a legitimate voice in this area because we are on the front line of the crisis. And we believe that if we can marry that voice with your voice and your action and your activism, wherever it is in the diaspora, then I believe that we will get somewhere in being able to make that difference, not just for small island developing states like ourselves, but for those also who live in Miami and who will be living in Hong Kong and who will be living in other cities that are equally threatened after we go. We, my friends, have to provide the global leadership this time around. And I have every confidence that we have the capacity to do so. We have the moral authority to do so. All we need is the numbers because many hands make light work. And as we do that, and as we seek to make our country more resilient and to build it, let us do so always in love. In love of country, in love of family, in love of community, in love of self. I wish you a happy independence, and I look forward to your continuing in active citizenship in building for me the greatest nation on earth. Thank you, and God bless. Oren, Padre Celestial. Le damos gracias por los 55 años de independencia de la nación de Barbados. Protégelos con tu Espíritu Santo y guíalos por caminos de justicia y de paz. Te lo pedimos por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Hi guys, it's paint season. Make your house a home with our wide variety of painting and decorating essentials right here at SHB Hardware and Lumber. Paints in every color you can imagine in all types of finishes for every surface. We also have every tool and accessory for your painting projects. Paint it your way at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber. I'll see you soon.
Okay, so I told you not only we'll be taking in the sights and sounds of Barbados, but some sights and sounds from all over the world. And here we are in Spitestown on the west coast of Barbados. And just beyond the horizon, there's Cuba. And our very first performance of the evening is from our very own ambassador to Cuba, Philip St. Hill. My fellow Barbadians, I, both at home and across the globe everywhere, I greet you warmly on this, the occasion of anniversary of our beautiful island home, Barbados. My name is Philip St. Hill, and I'm currently the ambassador of Barbados in Havana, Cuba. This occasion of independence is very special, and at the request of some of my colleagues, heads of mission, I am doing this poem as a tribute to my country and in representation of my other colleagues. It is a poem that I wrote way back in 1996, on the 30th anniversary of the independence of Barbados. But I believe the message is, of it is still relevant up to today. And so this is the one I'll choose to do for you today. It is called The Spot. Now, this is The Spot. We are for a fact. 55 years ago, we lowered the Union Jack. Forever. Up when we tried it. And so did our hope, our vision, our dreams for this spot. On that night, despite the rain, people in the thousands came to show how happy all were we to take control and be free to make our own decisions about this spot. This is the spot where democracy allows me to put my eggs, to vote for who I feel like I don't get vexed if my party don't win, where human rights and the rule of law are government's goal, despite any flaw, where harmony is practiced, not only preach, and where we try our best to reach the less fortunate on this spot. So then, this is the spot where I'm going to build. A home, a house, and stay until God calls me home. Or God for me. And my children must live too. So I must contribute to its development and take care of its environment. Because even though it's small, you see, this spot means the world to me. Yet yeah, this is the spot where the, young, where the young man died from the gunshot wounds, where his mother cried to belly out to no avail, and the culprit get lost way in jail. Yes, some problems remain and come sometimes to cause me pain. Why the hatred? Why the greed? Why something that can only succeed at the expense of others on this spot? 55 years on, we're still on this spot. And I think that it is time that we stop and check yourself to see exactly to what degree, individually and collectively, we are contributing to its prosperity. Come on, agents, let's look deep in our heart and ask ourselves if the part we play or planning to play will lead our republic to a brighter day. And if we check and find it's not, can we do something, man, on the spot? Thank you. And now we go inside the Frank Culmer Hall for more from the Royal Barbados Police Force Band.
Now, just a little further down from Gun Hill Signal Station, you'll find the lion at Gun Hill, carved by Captain Henry Wilkinson in 1868 from a single piece of coral. Just a little fun Bajan history there for you. And speaking of history, our next artist is ingrained in the cultural history of Barbados. Everyone, please welcome Biggie Irene. <laughs> Check me the bar, where is in my soul? Cause no matter day or hour, I always in so calm mode. Yes, they in check me the bar, where is in my soul? Cause no matter day or hour, uh, where in this world will you ever go and find? Go and find a bunch of me people who like to lie and party. Can we get coming, but we still having a time. King the middle of the road, watch how we jam and wine. Plan on me, 
is the rhythm totally in control. And if I'm falling down, 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 it's not me who's falling, it's because I'm getting too much.
beautiful, bright Caribbean colors are the perfect backdrop for all things fashion. And now we meet another well-known creative from Barbados by the name of Raj Paul, taking a look at his presentation from BMEX 2021. Uh, hi, I'm Raj Paul, uh, fashion designer, graphic artist, stylist, um, talk show host. <laughs> My work for this collection, particularly, I wanted to, you know, find a way where I could bridge um, sort of like African-inspired prints, like Ankara's, into streetwear. So basically, I'm trying to uh, merge these, um, these these two these two what feels a little polarized ends, you know, traditional African Ankara prints and urban, you know, streetwear. Uh, it's all tailored, so it all falls into the tailored, um, you know, the tailored category for me is tailored denims, tailored shorts, uh, and when I say tailored, I mean TLRD. So this is the streetwear collection. Um, I utilize, I also showcase some tunics, the new tunics that we're doing, the tailored tunics, and some of the new t-shirt graphics. I put a bunch of cool stuff out on my feed, and here comes the ladies on the feed talking about, yo, we need to get some women in your gear, Raj. So, the same one that said that, I call her up, Amsa, to rock this look. Check it out. The I Heart Bim sweater. I Heart Bim, man. You know, it's about love for home. It's about homegrown. It's about 246 up and forward. And we wanted to do something that had that classic kind of heart back to what we know, you know, I Heart New York, but it was us. So I Heart Bim in the, in, in the mixed colors, that's what this tea is about. And you see the sleeves too, Ministry of Style, Home uh, Nationhood series, that's what this piece is about. Combined with the Distress Denim, and then with the white sneaks, uh, the white New Balance from Soul Addiction, that combination, I love that combination. I think that she killed that very nicely. So this look comprises uh, one of my favorite pieces because it's an old school term, brax. Uh, that's a Bajanism, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when something is hitting hard, when something is slamming, we say brax. So I really wanted to uh, highlight that for the nationhood piece. If you check the sleeves, you will see the nationhood ministry of style. Um, and I really wanted to bring something that had our Bajan quality about it uh, to the forefront. Again, something that we could really get with on a streetwear level. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like a tourist thing or it's not just something for visitors and so on. But something that we could relate to and that we could celebrate and feel good about. So quality hood, boom, hit the bracks. And then the jeans were upcycle jeans. So I make jeans from scratch as well, but this particular one was one that was already made, that was retail, and then I would take it and I would tweak it. I would reshape it, I would add in pieces, I would cut out pieces, I would kind of mix it and take it to another level. So I, I like that there are kind of sneaky little places where interesting uh, details pop up. And that is what I did with these pair of jeans to go with the hoodie. Check Javon. Javon is stepping out sick with this look, man. I mean, this combination of of the tunic with the spring print here, uh, the two different colors, the camo and then the orange, uh, and then the piece in the back with the spring print, the, the slogan for a brand evolve love is how we evolve. All those combine to make a sweet piece, but then the combination with the floral, the floral pants, man, the black on the front with the orange and reds and blues popping off, and then the cakey on the back. This, this combo, this combo is heavy. I love this here. Then, of course, to, to bring it all together, we got those Nikes with a kind of camo effect. It's not full camo, but it's got the tones. We've got the two greens and a beige or something. And it's a, it's, it's a nice way of combining the whole look together and pulling it all together. I think, um, I think Javon did a great job pulling this off. I mean, check Chris out, man. He's rocking on the inside the new, uh, one of the new graphics for the brand Evolve. That's the band, off of the bandana series. That's 
I just love that 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 particular piece there. But look at the combination with the jacket, the black jacket, the bomber jacket with the imprinted um, uh, Evolve logo on the front, and then the honorable on the back. These jeans now are very special to me because it's the dark blue denim mixed with the red stripe and the inspiration for that, believe it or not, is the Barbados police uniform. Real. I was like, you know what? I love what they have doing. I wonder if I could take a cue from that and bring it into streetwear. Inspiration is everywhere and I feel like we nailed, we have nailed it, that look. Uh, with that particular jeans. So it combines both the blue and the red, but then you got some floral details in the heel plate, you got some floral details on the yoke. Yeah, so when we put that combination together with those red Puma Romas from Soul Addiction, psh, that was it. That really nailed it down. This look is one of my favorite looks. This look is a dope look. Uh, this this model, in fact, is a dope dude. This is one of my clients, but I was like, Tara, you need a model for me. So we put together a, a look that comprised the tunic with this kind of psychedelic, uh, psychedelic pattern, and then some mixed solids in there. Bridge that with the uh, salvage denim jeans with the Ankara prints, and then of course to bring everything together was the sneakers. I want to. I got a shout out Soul Addiction for. I mean, the big sponsor and the big support bringing their wonderful, colorful, cool, trendy sneakers to balance back with everything that we're building out. Yeah, this look, this look for me, man. This look, when we combine everything, this look is fire. I love this look. Hakeem is wearing the tailored swims sweater with a small hand details. If you has zero in on it, you will see the little red stitching that's left on it. Uh, he's wearing that in combination with, I mean, the, some of the craziest pants in the collection, and that's the abstract black and white with the rose details on the heel plate and on the back yoke. That in combination with a black New Balance with a pretty colorful uh, sole, the purple, orange, yellow, that's the vibe right there. I think that this combination, again, is a, is a pretty, it's a little dressed up, you know, and it's a little bold. I mean, you, you, you have to, you can see this, right? You have to have like a certain, mm, to rock this and pull this off. And I think Hakeem does it very, very well. So this combination, love this. So now rocking the one of the new graphic tees, the grid tee. Again, a lot of vibes for this one here. It's the monogram grid tee, the Evolve Art Heart. Uh, this in combination with the joggers, the tailored joggers with a, with a screen print on it, on the front and on the back. This, these two combined then with a clean white sneaks, the New Balance. This is a dope look. It's very simple, it's very easy. But this is, uh, you know, anybody could kill this off, I think, and, and rock this right. And she does justice to this. Thank you, Amsa. So Ravi now is rocking one of the coolest shorts that, um, that I've done. We've got these very tapered, very clean shorts in a stretch denim. And some of the details, uh, I just, just the way these details come together, the camouflage and the flamingo print and the orange um, piping just sick put that together with one of the new prints again this is this would be the circle logo with a paisley pattern in it and then the honorable hood yeah so that so this combination with the shorts the hood the tee and the sneakers the bmw pumas 
This combination, I love this combination. Very cool, very laid back, very relaxed. You know, easy for chilling, you know, going out. You know, it's not real dressed up, but it's got enough details that make it interesting and takes it all to the, the realm of just a boring short pants and t-shirt look. I gotta tell you, man, this look is one of my favorites. Uh, you got the florals. When I say the florals, you got the, the flowers and the tones that are familiar with um, camouflage, but then you also have some camouflage, some green uh, camouflage mix in there. It's kind of camouflage. Um, you have a uh, screen print on the back with the Evolve and the gold. I mean, the way that these, that the combinations just mash together is definitely one of my favorite pieces. And this is on a new tunic top. So we got the tailored tunics with all the action, all the mixing of the patterns, and then the screen print on top of that there. And then the jeans, man, these jeans, these, shh, these jeans got the tuxedo stripe. They got the mix of um, the tones with the keiki and the green. It has the um, camouflage stripe. It has a camouflage across the back. Uh, it, it has the, the hammer loop, the painted pocket. It's just like so much things going on. Then, it, then the heel place, when you turn it up, there's so much action on these jeans. This particular set is one of my favorites. Uh, the model has some very, very cool shoes with the... Um, the Doc Martens, so that was a cool look, and then we style it out, of course, there with a with a hat and you know necklace, and that's that's definitely one of my favorite looks, man. I love that. Hi right, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is my collection for this season. Uh, I had so much fun putting it together and the models I think did a great job and I think uh, the shooters, everybody behind the scenes, it, it, was, it was dope. New models as well, I think it was very, very, very cool. If you need a piece, just holler at me, it's super easy, at Shopraj Paul, S-H-O-P-R-H-A-J-P-A-U-L, for the tees, the imprintables. If you want to get something custom made, because I do a lot of that, hit me up at gettailor.com, that's G-E-T-T-L-R-D. For the, for the great sneakers to combine your looks with, you got to hit up Soul Addiction, of course. Shout out to Nancy. Appreciate the sponsor and the connection. It's good stuff, man. Guys, let's celebrate ourselves. 246 Up is a nationhood thing. I heart been thing. It is all about us. Let's put our best foot forward and keep rapping and rocking it hard. Respect. We've headed to the beautiful south coast of Barbados here in Oystens. Now, Oystens is known as the fish fry place. There's music, dancing, locals and tourists alike come down here to enjoy the sights, the sounds. And during the day, of course, the sun, the sea and the sand. And now we're here to bring to you the first performance from Venezuela is Roguero with Gift to Barbados. Saludos mi gente de la Embajada de Barbados en Venezuela. Reciban este regalito de parte de este servidor, Israel Guerrero, el hijo de Guayana. Oye mi amor, hoy te traigo esta canción, hecha con el corazón, como un humilde regalo, con mucho ahínco y de manera especial. Se la voy a dedicar a tu gran terruño amado. Oye mi amor, hoy te traigo esta canción, hecha con el corazón, como un humilde regalo, con mucho ahínco y de manera especial. Se la voy a dedicar a tu gran terruño amado, por el noreste de mi patria Venezuela, y pegadita de Trinidad y Tobago. En ese punto de ese gran arco insular, 
la podemos encontrar y el mar Caribe a su lado. Isla bonita, motivo de mi canción, inspiración del bohemio enamorado. Gracias a Dios y a la gran naturaleza por darte tanta belleza, linda isla de Barbado. Hi guys, I'm Hillary and I'm here at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber here in St. Philip. Now open seven days a week. Your next home improvement project deserves products that are built to last. As the number one tool and hardware retailer in Barbados, nobody has more paint, tools, hardware, lumber, garden supplies, home accessories and goods. You'll find everything that you need seven days a week. I'll see you soon. For over 40 years, we've catered to all your needs. Helping Barbados to grow sustainably. King Gardens and Thomas are in Lola's. Christ Church will be the finest service in the building industry at Williams. Come on out, Williams. Williams, we got it. So if you want brass, yeah, we got it. Upper my clan, yeah, we got it. Upper our steel, yeah, we got it. Just come on out at Williams Metal. Thank you so much, Israel Guerrero from Venezuela. We have friends all over the world, and we want you to check in right now. So whether you are on YouTube, on Zoom, checking this out live, tell your friends, call up somebody, WhatsApp them, send them the link right now. We want everyone to come together. And the chat, of course, is open. We want you to interact with one another, interact with us. Let us know where you're from. Drop your flags in the chat below, Zoom or YouTube, and we want to hear from you. Okay, guys, it's all about a celebration of Barbados. So we're going to be touching all over the world we have friends everywhere as you know you can find a beige in any corner of the world so we want to know where you guys are and I'll check in with you guys in just a little bit but speaking of friends and friends from all over this next one I told you earlier on that we've got some prizes and some giveaways so we have the prize the first prize of the evening this one is a question for Barbadians and friends of Barbados living in the UK. And this is for a chance to win a trip for two on Virgin Atlantic to come right here in beautiful Barbados. And you're getting a three night stay at the Sand Piper Hotel, okay? So trip for two on board. Once again, Virgin Atlantic. This is for our Barbadian friends and our friends in the UK. You're getting a three night stay at the Sandpiper Hotel. So I know you're listening now. You're intrigued. Well, here's the question you have to answer and drop the answer in the chat. Okay, so on Zoom, on YouTube, you're going to have that chat right there. Just drop the answer in for your chance to win. So who was Barbados's head of state in 1984. If you know the answer or you got those quick fingers, drop that in the chat right now. Who was Barbados's head of state in the year 1984? And you've got that chance to win a round trip for two on Virgin Atlantic right here in beautiful Barbados. You're coming for a three night stay at the Sandpiper Hotel. So we just had talent from Venezuela. So just like you guys winning a trip right here, we're going to bring it right back home to Barbados with our next performer. His name is Jamal Slocum. Let's take in some more entertainment. sense of feeling free and having the right to speak your mind out that is my country to me it is the air I breathe and I'm proud to be born here and the love and beauty that surrounds us we share it day by day is my country to me I will not look down I will always keep my head apart and share with pride and in the 
guys, it's paint season. Make your house a home with our wide variety of painting and decorating essentials right here at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber. Paints in every color you can imagine in all types of finishes for every surface. We also have every tool and accessory for your painting projects. Paint it your way at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber. I'll see you soon. And now let's rejoin our friends from Venezuela with Arturito playing the mighty Gabby's Emerton on violin.
We're still in Oysters this time. We've gone to the Oysters main road side. You can see all the shops selling drinks, ice cold drinks, food and more. But now we go to our friends in Cuba. It's time to get moving and dancing. This one is for family near and far because it's called Family Greeting. Barbados and uh, friends of Barbados, wherever you're found, in the island or off of it. Of course, this is Philip St. Hill, the ambassador in Cuba. And we have a very special thing taking place here this evening as part of our celebration of anniversary of independence. I am at the residence of the Menendez White family, Barbadian descendants who have been living in Cuba for all of their lives, but it was their father who came here at the age of 18. And although he was very young, he established himself and established this family very well educated and very well uh, loving Barbados very much. So we are happy to have them this, this year to send greetings to you. And at this time, I turn over to Jesus, who will introduce and present the other members of his family. Jesus. Good evening, Barbados. I'm Jesus. This is my family, and we are really proud 
and happy to share this significant moment of Barbados history with you. So we want to say to all the people in Barbados and all the descendants around the world, happy 55th Independence Anniversary Barbados because we love you. Now my mother would like to say something. Muchas felicidades a todos los barbadenses por el 55 aniversario de la independencia. Muchas felicidades a todos. I would like to congratulate the first elected president, Jane Chandler Mason, everybody in Barbados, all the descendants around the world, and especially here in our lovely country, Cuba. And eh, congratulations, everybody. Happy anniversary. Estamos muy felices por el, eh, la celebración del 55 aniversario de la, de la independencia de Barbados y eh, queremos eh, testimoniar eh, nuestra admiración y respeto por, por ese país, al cual nos une un lazo de, muy fuerte, históricamente. Okay, so, happy happy independence anniversary de Barbados. Muchas, muchas, muchas felicidades, felicidades feliz aniversario. En tu 55 aniversario. Bye. And of course, Barbados is known for its many beautiful beaches. And where do fashion and the beach collide? In swimwear, of course. So now let's take a look at Beijing Cherry Swimwear from BMAX 2021. Hi, I'm Stephanie Takei Taylor, and I am the owner of Beijing Cherry Swimwear. It's a company that's been around since 2012 with the mission of creating the perfect surf bikini. One that looks good and makes you feel great when you're in the water. It stays put too. The creation of Beige and Cherry really came about because I was trying to create the perfect bikini. I used to work for Roxy in New York City and, well, Roxy and Quicksilver. And I got really frustrated because I could never find a bikini bottom that fit. So when I came down here and started surfing more, I kind of pieced together my favorite bikini bottoms um, and just kind of kept creating and going from there. And then a few years ago, I started the Conscious Fashion line. So everything other than the, shimmer, the very shimmery, mermaidy, and liquid prints are all now created out of the um, out of the conscious fashion recycled plastic bottle spandex and um, it's expanded from bikinis to uh, cropped rash guards to long sleeve hole pieces and to two different kinds of hole pieces as well. Um, our first look today is a beautiful original hole piece. There are removable cups. It has a string in the back that is removable as well to make it a better fit and it is in silver snake. Second look is the Rio bikini. It is a, in a beautiful emerald green mermaid print, and it has a sliding triangle top, a tie side bottom with a ruched bump. third look is also the Rio bikini style and it is in a shimmering black mermaid.
Our fourth look is a floral romper that is perfect for dressing up to go out at night as well as to wear as a beach cover up during the day. The fifth look today is also the Rio style bikini, but the print is really near and dear to my heart because it's from the Conscious Fashion line. That means it's created out of recycled plastic bottle spandex. The sixth look today is also in the really beautiful silver snake print with the Rio top and this time paired with a Brandon's wide banded bottom. The seventh shot is a long sleeve Waikiki bikini. It's also from the Conscious Fashion line, which means it's made out of recycled plastic bottle spandex. This is perfect for keeping the sun off of your shoulders and having you use less sunblock when you go to the beach. Our eighth and final shot today is a Beeritz padded top. The padding is actually sewn in, so it's not going to go anywhere when you go swimming. And it's paired with a Rio bottom. It is in the very slick, liquid James Bond style navy blue. I also want to thank my really good friend Renee Alves from Trinidad and Tobago for letting me borrow her beautiful handmade with love creations by Sugar Brat Designs. Of course, we here in Barbados, we're known for our warm smiles and beautiful sunshine. And we're sending some your way. In Toronto, let's meet our friends Greg Burkett and Jay Simone. My first vacation to BIM, I was all in. I must have been about nine years old when I was told that I would be boarding a plane, leaving Canadian shores, heading to the home of my four fathers. It would be just me and my father. My mom and my siblings wouldn't be joining us, just the two of us, too good to be true, for three weeks in the land of the blue, yellow, blue, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. We prayed, Lord, take us safely to that tropical promised land, a land flowing with tiger malt, mobby, plus, and juicy. We boarded and took off for Sir Grantley, me sitting giddy beside my daddy, needing to be pinched because the whole thing felt like a fantasy until we got outside of the airport. And the sweet, polite tone that was being used 
for those escorted to the bus headed to the expensive resort was slightly different from the one reserved for us. Look, uh, Skipper Man, you and that little boy planning on standing up there all day, I want to get in. I want to plan on standing between standing and getting in. Our welcoming committee member didn't seem very friendly, but still seemed more like a friend than an enemy. So I followed my daddy, loaded our luggage and sat in the back seat of what seemed to be a taxi or a relative's car or a relative who owned a taxi. But either way, it actually didn't matter because what did was that the way that this dude was driving was the most terrifying thing to this poor Canadian kid. Sharp turns on narrow streets. And by the way, was he driving on the left side of the street and not the right? I might have been too young to have a license, but I knew that back in Canada, this action was an infraction. I looked at my dad for his reaction, searched his face for fear and found no indication. The picture of calm and chaos while the driver yelled, all right, how are you? And remember to your mother for me, driving at top speed while carrying on conversations with pedestrians. I was small, but I knew that making the suggestion that he should slow down and pay more attention was certainly out of the question. After whizzing down back lanes and across gully roads for what felt like an hour, but I suppose was probably closer to 10 minutes, we reached our destination. I looked out of the car window and out of the shadow of the door frame of a small house emerged a small lady one of the main reasons we had come to visit this tiny island nation. My grandmother, my dad's mother. I had never met her before, and to see her now filled my heart with joy. I jumped out of the car and said, Hi, Gran. She inspected me, looked at my dad and said, Oh, so this is the last boy. All right, go long inside. Her disappointment was plainly in view. I was kind of skinny and small for my age, and she would make it her mission to ensure that I grew. My gran and my dad talked, laughed, said grace, ate, and then it was time to get some rest. So far, everything in Barbados seemed to be a little different to me, but bedtime is the same wherever you go. Little did I know that I was about to face the ultimate test. Head pressed against the pillow, sleeping sweet, but I had to use the bathroom so up on my feet, I stood and strolled down a short hallway toward an open door. Using the bathroom at night isn't a problem. I had done this many times before. But I heard something moving around. It looked big and hideous, and as I approached, I screamed and woke everyone up. My grand chopped and said, You mean to tell me you're frightened for a little cockroach? Man, I couldn't catch a break in this place, but I was going to try to make the most of it anyway. So I was super excited when I woke and my dad said, Make haste and put all your clothes. I carry you to the beach today. I jumped up, brushed my teeth, and put on what I thought was a sweet outfit, ready for what the day had in store. My grand took one look at me, chopped again and said, Boy, change them clothes. Wipe your nose so, and don't leave here with your hat back to front. People gonna look at you and laugh and call you an Aussie Moor. An Aussie Moor? Who? Or what on earth is that? I had no idea what she was saying, but I knew I had to change, and that was a fact. <laughs> I changed and came back, turned around my hat, and then Gran asked, Where am I going to go? And do? So I answered and said, The beach, just like my father told me. Gran said, Oh, we well, had on was enough then. You didn't bump to change. Anyhow, go along and try and get that here for half past three. By now I was used to being confused. So when my dad told me that we were going to Miami Beach, even though I knew that we were in Barbados, I wasn't even surprised. I mean, they drove on the left, the cockroaches were as big as pets, so whatever was next would be no shock to my eyes. On the way to the beach, people would stop and greet my dad. He was beginning to feel like he was the fresh Prince of Bim. In Oyston's Christchurch, born and raised on the cricket pitches where he spent most of his days. <laughs> I was kind of proud to be seen with him. But then, when we got to the water, my dad took off his shirt, dove in, and was moving away from me so quickly it felt like he forgot that I didn't know how to swim. As I yelled out, Daddy, wait, come back! His response sounded less like an answer to my request, but more like some kind of Bajan mantra. 
As his arms and legs propelled him further away, he shouted, If you want me, swim to me. <laughs> Needless to say, out of sheer fright and despair, I learned to swim that day. But trying to figure out Bajan life and culture would be an insurmountable task to complete in my three-week stay. It was the 80s and back home the big stars in music for me were Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and Run DMC. In Barbados, I was trying to wrap my head around the music of Punka, Red Plastic Bag, and The Mighty Gabby. Names that seemed strange for my little Canadian mouth to say, but I soon learned to love them anyway. My grandmother threatening to wring my hand in your jawbone if I didn't say thank you or please, or learning that a cutter was a sandwich and not a knife or another instrument used to slice cheese. By the second week of my stay, I was craving fast food in the worst way, begging to go to McDonald's and hearing my grand say, hmm, You better care he the chef at. Getting vexed because I couldn't get a Big Mac, but then tasting their chicken and instantly having no regrets. <laughs> yeah, my first trip to BIM was a trip, but I wouldn't hear of it when it was time to go home. I wanted one more pink or white sugar cake, one more chance to survive a ride in a ZR, one more sweet snow cone. One more chance to laugh at someone talking about a fruit called fat pork. One more fresh from the oven turnover or melt in your mouth fish cake. One more visit to the crane, to Bathsheba or to Browns. Three weeks couldn't be over already. It had to be a mistake. The first vacation to Barbados holds a special place in my memory. The people, the places, the food, the talk, the vibes, the energy. Been to many places and yes, you know I'm biased but Barbados is rather unique. Been back since then, and God willing, I'll be back again, because Barbados, you're too, too sweet. They say this mountain can't be moved They say these chains will never break But they don't know you like we do There is power in your name We've heard that there is no way We've heard the tide will never change. They haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. So much power in your name. Yeah. Move the immovable. Break the
thank you once again to our friends in Canada. We're making new friends, of course, the chat open, whether you're on Zoom or YouTube. So I want to say good evening and thank you for tuning in to Laura and Wanda. Yes, indeed, we're seeing all the comments, Sonia and Catherine. And all of you who joined us at the very beginning, you know that I gave away, a, well, I gave you the chance to win a prize earlier this evening and we've got a winner. So I have to say new friends, of course. We're, we're welcome to new friends. Pages Nair and Farth, congratulations to you, Cornell Andreas, because you answered Queen Elizabeth II correctly and you've won yourself a trip for two to Barbados. And that, of course, is coming out from uh, our friends over at Virgin Atlantic. And you have won yourself as well a three-night stay at the San Piper Hotel. So congratulations to you. And at this time, Cornell, I invite you to email all your information. Just send that email. Say, hey, my name is Cornell. I am the winner of that trip for two from the UK on Virgin Atlantic. And you can send that information off to Washington at foreign.gov.bb. Okay, so washington.foreign.gov.bb. Now, everyone watching, you also need to take note of that email address because right now, another giveaway. That's right. So you have a chance to win. So Beijing's near and far and especially our Barbadian friends in Canada. This one is for you. You have a chance to win a trip for two on Air Canada, of course, and a three night stay at the Mango Bay Hotel. So like I said, get in that chat on the bottom there, Zoom or YouTube to answer this question for your chance to win. So the question is, are you ready? I know you had that other tab open. I'm going to give you a chance to open the other tab because we're going to do some uh, you know, we're going to do some research right now. So question, in what year was slavery abolished in Barbados? When was slavery abolished in Barbados? Drop that in the chat right now for your chance to win that trip for two on Air Canada and a three night stay at Mango Bay Hotel. OK, so when we come back, I'll announce that winner. But, you know, we're, we're meeting friends near, far, north, south, east, west. We have all sorts of talent coming in right now. We've got some uh, musicians. We've had some entertainment. We've had some singers. Right now, this one is a poem called Defight. Hi there again, folks. Philip St. Hill, returning to do a second poem for you. This one of a different flavor, religious. You know, I, for years, been writing uh, Bible stories in Beijing dialect. And I'm going to do one for you this evening. I'm sure you're going to recognize it. It's called In the Fight. And it goes like this. A fight that occurred long ago in history, and one that I will never forget, is when David met Goliath. Y'all ever heard about it yet? Now the Philistines and the Israelites were battling day and night. The Philistines trying to defile the armies of God and the Israelites fighting for the right. But the Philistines had the upper hand because Goliath was their boss. And any man the Israelites sent up there would only be a terrible loss. Every day he would get up on the mountain, showing off his muscles and might, begging the Israelites to send a man because he feel like he won't fight. He would say, one of the Israelites down there, it is one I want me. Send one of the men up here and let the wild birds get sent to eat. Now they had this guy called David, who went up with the armies one day. And while he was taking food for his brothers, he heard every word the giant said. This aggravated David, and he started to get vexed. He said, well, if the, the, the Philistines are going to defile the armies of God, tell me what can happen next. He went to King Saul right away to get a chance he didn't deserve. He said, King Saul, give me a chance after that. Let me prove to he who got it this serve. But King Saul looked at David, boy. Were you in for fun? Well, before you get near Goliath, he can dug out his tongue. But David said, Oh no, King Saul, I still want to try. I know the God is serving, and he ain't gonna let me die. David's desire was granted, but you know he was pretty small. The armor was too big for him, so he went without, without any protection at all at all. Just a little sling, five rocks from down by the pool. He said a little prayer to God, and he went up to meet Goliath, cool, cool, cool. When Goliath see him coming, he could hardly believe him but his eyes. He just stood up and stared. He was ever so surprised. He said, now who want to think I is? That I want to say he out to me. Well, when I done this cause of him, what are going to forget he used to be? But David said, oh no, Goliath. The Lord will fight for me. 
And today I will prove it don't take a big axe to cut down a big tree. Oh, you have killed some wild animals and one never scratched me yet. So I don't mind you lot begging up, Zaki. You can't pose no longer threats. The two starfish sizes not the one another. And the whole for the stay army show. Goliath, Goliath is all here. Now we gonna beat one and out. But as Goliath drew near, David took off the sling. He put a little rock inside it, twirled it, and he said, out of You may know that that rock went against the giant in the middle of his forehead, and with the power of God behind it, it killed him dead, dead, dead. Now, the moral of that story is sure to be not that God wants you to go and kill nobody, but from that incident, we're supposed to understand that little can become much when you put it in God's hand. Thank you. Back to the sandy shores of Barbados. Let's head back to the Frank Culmer Hall for more from the Royal Barbados Police Force Band.
For over 40 years, we've catered to all your needs. Helping Barbados to grow sustainably. King Gardens and Thomas are in Lola's. Christ Church will be the finest service in the building industry at Williams. Come on out, Williams. Williams, we got it. So if you want brass, yeah, we got it. Like my client, yeah, we got it. Like our steel, yeah, we got it. Just come on out at Williams Meadows. Williams, we got it. Hi guys, I'm Hillary and I'm here at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber here in St. Philip. Now open seven days a week. Your next home improvement project deserves products that are built to last. As the number one tool and hardware retailer in Barbados, nobody has more paint, tools, hardware, lumber, garden supplies, home accessories and goods. You'll find everything that you need seven days a week. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I hope you guys got a chance to get up, move around a little bit, dance, of course, to the world-renowned Royal Barbados Police Force Band. And uh, thank you so much for those musical stylings. And we've um, popped in and out with them as well. And excellent job, as always. And right now, we got to say congratulations to our winner, prize number two, prize package number two, going to Eileen Griffith, who answered correctly with the year 1834. So once again, Eileen, we encourage you to send your contact information. Of course, you want to claim your prize, right, to come to Barbados for a three-night stay. So you can send that to Washington at foreign.gov.bb. So we're seeing all the comments. Yes, indeed. We're there on our phones, on our laptops, monitoring the chat. So we guys, we know that you guys are definitely paying attention. You're engaged. You want to know more. You want to see more. And we're going to give you more. But right now, we're going to give you guys the final prize for tonight. And this is going out to all our Barbadian friends and our Barbadian friends in the United States. So this one's a bit of a longer one but first off this is what you get a chance to win you get a prize on jet blue to barbados with a three night stay at the sands hotel okay so you're coming to barbados three nights sands hotel all compliments and celebration of barbados so here is your question you know what to do right by now you should know what to do drop that answer in the comment regardless of if you're on zoom or youtube drop the answer in the comments so are you ready for the question all right, here we go. I see the nodding of the head, so here we go, okay? So although Barbados became a, British, um, became a British colony, they were not the first Europeans to visit Barbados, okay? So explorers from which country were the first? Okay, it's kind of a long one. So although Barbados became a British colony, Britain, the British were not the first to visit, the first Europeans to visit Barbados. Do you know who the first Europeans were to visit Barbados? Well, drop that answer in the comments below and you have a chance to win that prize package for two on JetBlue coming to Barbados to stay at the Sands Hotel for three nights. So give you a chance to do that, of course, and we're going to take in more entertainment, more information and a whole lot more in celebration of Barbados right now as we head to our Barbados Embassy in Panama. <laughs> Afternoon, good evening, good night, fellow Barbadians in the diaspora. I hope everyone is feeling as wonderful and as excited as I am about this evening's proceedings. My name is Michelle Carter, and I bring you greetings from the beautiful Republic of Panama, home of the world's famous Panama Canal and one of the most beautiful national costumes in the world, La Poyera. I also bring you warm greetings from our ambassador, His Excellency, Mr. Ian Walcott. I know that you're excited to see what we have in store. I'm very excited to present it. Wait, Quincy, that's you? You know you can find a Bajan anywhere in the world. Man, come over and show me people, come true. Hello everyone. My name is Quincy Eiffel and I am a proud Bajan living here in Panama City. I want to wish all of my fellow Barbadians a very happy 55th independence from all of us here in Panama. Thank you, Quincy. Well, imagine finding he boat down here, so. Big up to my St. Michael peoples. What I know is the best parish in Bim. 
Hush full of canes. Keep one of centipedes. As you are aware, Panama is the home of many Barbadian descendants. And just like us, they love music and they love to sing. And tonight, we're going to bring you presentations from two of them. First up will be Miss Idania Dowman, the Lady of Jazz of Panama. from another Barbadian descendant who absolutely loves Barbados. Her name is Norisa Small. Paternal great-grandparents were from Barbados. Norisa is a tourism professional and she's the proud owner of the magazine La Voz Turistica. Please follow it on Instagram. La Voz Turistica loosely translates to the voice of tourism and she has dropped in to send out a special shout out to all of her Beijing feet. Norisa. My name is Norisa Small. I own a magazine called La Voz Turistica, and I'm a specialist of tourism. Barbados is an island that has a little bit of everything. It's people, it's, cu it's culture, it's food, everything, it's service, it's commitment. Everything is so fabulous. Remember when you visit Barbados, go to St. Lawrence Gap the Oyster Fish Market, the um, Nikki Beach, and also the Harrison's Cave. There are places that I think they are great. I just want to wish a happy 55th birthday to all my Bajans, friends, and family. Happy 55th birthday, Barbados. Happy Independence Day. Thank you, Narisa, for that very warm shout out. Guess what we have next? Another song. I absolutely love, love music and I love singing. Next time I'll sing for you. But right now we're going to hear from another Barbadian descendant. Her name is Sarah Goddard. 
She's Panamanian by birth, but she's a resident in Mexico. Dime si puedes alejarme solo, dime si puedes alejarte solo, dime. Por favor. Dime si puedes alejarme solo, dime. presentation we totally enjoyed it and we wish you every success with your latest single hello everyone michelle here from the embassy of barbados in panama city again how are you doing i hope that you all are enjoying the show because i am having a blast i am here to talk to you today about passion you know that they just love to dress up we got a ton of fashionistas in Barbados. I mean, after all, our very own Rihanna, she's up there with some of the biggest in the industry. But I'm not here to talk to you about Rihanna, I'm here to talk to you about Yender. He is one of Barbados' biggest upcoming fashion designers. I mean, you should see the vibes. Oh my God, they are so pretty. I want one. But you know what? I'm not going to tell you about them. I'm going to show you because he stole the show at Panama Fashion Week earlier this year. Let's go. Get it, 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 get
Ambassador, His Excellency Mr. Ian Walcott, and the team here at the Embassy of Barbados in Panama City, Mr. Victoriano Gondola, our Administrative Assistant, and Mrs. Elena Gonzalez, our Office Assistant. I want to wish Barbados a very happy 55th anniversary of independence. We love you. Continue to enjoy your night. And we've now come to Ragged Point St. Philip where the cool breeze is coming off the ocean. Well, across the seas to the east, we have our ancestral homeland. And singing Cool Waters, please welcome Michelle Hammond. dry and weary place You're the fresh wind Across my desert space I drink you in I breathe you in Till I am whole again You're the You're the fresh wind Across my broken heart I drink you in I breathe you in Till I am whole again So Barbados and Brazil, we actually share a strong connection, and that's evident in some common last names. Names like Lane, Aline, Motley, DePiz, and Maloney, just to name a few. And in fact, our next guest has a fairly common last name as well. Please welcome our friend, Luana Shockness. Das pororocas que encontrei Porto Velho mais seguro Me acolheu com distinção Me deu vida, me deu vida Pra viver com emoção Porto Velho, os teus rios Teus caboclos e aldeias Serengueiros nas florestas Tuas 
cachoeiras Tua forma de encantar Tuas matas, o teu céu Tuas noites, teu luar Os teus campos, teus mistérios Tuas lindas, os teus contos Cobra grande, boto rosa Nas barrancas do mar As you drive around the island, you might see a few of these, and some of you might wonder what exactly this is. Well, it's Barbados' own homegrown sport of road tennis. Fast-paced action. It's a cross between lawn tennis and table tennis. Let's take in some of the action. Love serving love. Welcome to the beautiful facilities in Belfie, located in Black Rock, St. Michael. My name is Juliet Worrell, and I'm the Public Relations Officer for the Barbados Road Tennis Association. Let me take you on a journey to explain the origin of road tennis, which started in 1930. In those days, they had some gentlemen from Charrington Village, guys from Eagle Hall, guys from the Orleans, guys from Deacons, who were frequently more affluent areas like Strathclyde and also Belleville and they saw some gentlemen out there playing lawn tennis. And when these balls were going to bounce, these guys captured the ball and went and formulated their own sport. They decided to just use a marl rock, just to outline the outline of the court. At that time, the court was 23 by 12, and the guys would play the sport with their hand, and some of them even used a piece of wood. Now we can fast track. The game evolved over the years so much. Right now you can see the game is played on some beautiful facilities like the one screen Belfield and other courts all around Barbados. And we are using the court sites have vastly reduced. The court is being played on 21 by 10. And of course the net is 12 inches wide and it is 2 inches thick and it is 8 inches high. And the, uh, the ball also evolved because they realized that after they can take the fur from the ball, the ball can move faster. Under the Barbados Road Tennis Association, which started from 1960, we decided to improve the sport some more because we want to take it globally. And as a result, we have implemented technology into the sport. So the sport now have a review system, just like in lawn tennis, where you can review the points in real time to get accuracy and also to encourage camaraderie and also to dispel any myths so we more or less have fair play. The Barbados Road Tennis Association mandate is to see the sport go globally. This sport can be played at a recreational level. This sport can be played at all demographics. You can be 70 or you can be 7, male or female. This sport encompasses all muscles of your body. So our aim is to encourage persons to keep playing the sport at all levels based on the fact that it is an easy game to learn and we want to see this sport go all over the world. Love all. Here we are in front of the only lighthouse in the parish of St. Philip. And speaking of St. Philip, our next artist is from right here. He is our cultural ambassador, His Excellency, Dr. Stetson Wilshire, otherwise known to fans and friends all over the world as Red Plastic Bag. When I wake up in the morning, I see the sun 
I go across the world, I say to people, I am from the beautiful island of Barbados. I am extremely proud to be Bajan. Dance all style, come on!
Season. Make your house a home with our wide variety of painting and decorating essentials right here at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber. Paints in every color you can imagine in all types of finishes for every surface. We also have every tool and accessory for your painting projects. Paint it your way at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber. I'll see you soon. For over 40 years, we've catered to all your needs. Helping Barbados to grow sustainably. King Gardens and Thomas are in Lola's. Christ Church will be the finest service in the building industry at Williams. Come on out, Williams. Williams, we got it. So if you want bread, yeah, we got it. Upper my cloud, yeah, we got it. Upper our steel, yeah, we got it. Just come on down. I'm Hillary and I'm here at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber here in St. Philip. Now open seven days a week. Your next home improvement project deserves products that are built to last. As the number one tool and hardware retailer in Barbados, nobody has more paint, tools, hardware, lumber, garden supplies, home accessories and goods. You'll find everything that you need seven days a week. I'll see you soon. Hi guys, 
guys, I'm Hillary and I'm here at Ace H&B Hardware and Lumber here in St. Philip. Now open seven days a week. Your next home improvement project deserves products that are built to last. As the number one tool and hardware retailer in Barbados, nobody has more paint, tools, hardware, lumber, garden supplies, home accessories and goods. You'll find everything that you need seven days a week. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I hope you guys have been enjoying everything so far. So much going on every corner of the world. And we got to shout out all of our friends who are on Zoom and, of course, on YouTube live right now. And uh, we, we know who was there from the very beginning. So shout you guys out as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for sharing the links with your friends and your family because we are celebrating Barbados. It's our virtual independence celebration. It's a gala event. So I'm wearing my, of course, my independence colors. So wherever you are make sure that you're repping Barbados this and next few days as we celebrate all things Barbados. So before we move on, I got to say congratulations to our final prize winner, Nadia Barrow. Nadia Barrow said the correct answer of Portugal. So Nadia, all you need to do is send that your information to that email address. Of course, Washington at foreign.gov.bb. Send your contact details. Someone will be in contact with you for you to collect that prize and we'll see you in Barbados soon, okay? So let's continue on right now. More entertainment this time, you know, when you're thinking Barbados, you're thinking the tropics. Of course, you know, I've got my breezy outfit on right now. So you also think fashion, right? So we're gonna take in some fashion from BMX 2021. First up, we have Okoye by Kim Butcher. And then we also have a fashion presentation, Shakad by Shanika Burnett. Let's take a look. Hi, I am Kim from Akoye by Kim. Akoye by Kim is a celebration of all things female, our female silhouettes. This brand started because I saw an opportunity to use all of my skills and talents. I wanted to do more than one thing and I wanted to be able to give back to our community. So part proceeds from the sale of every belt goes to help another micro entrepreneur. Really and truly, each one help one is at the forefront of what it is that we're doing. about strength and resilience is also about marketplace. We want to encourage Barbadians to buy local and to support local. by Kim comes with two collections. We have our Calypso collection and we have our Classic collection. Our Classic collection is a rich hue of Barbadian colors. Reds, blues, oranges, browns, greens. And our Calypso collection is that marriage of two textures. So we have batik, we have Ankara, we have all kinds of fabrics that come together to make our Calypso collection. things Beijing again. So our front house, belt, we also have comfort, sugar cake, akis, dunks, you name it. We have these belts inspired by all things Barbadian.
So this is Okoye by Kim, creative director of Okoye by Kim. My name is Shanika Burnett, and I am the designer for Shakad Eco Lifestyle. For my collection this year, I wanted to experiment with color palettes that I'm not used to, and I wanted to really use subdued palettes and play with the texture and the movement of the fabric to create that wow factor. Um, as we all know, you know, we're going through the pandemic and I like to create pieces based on my mood, based on the atmosphere. I like my work to tell a story, you know, be a historic representation of what's going on. So for this collection, I used a lot of browns and blacks and some green as well because I also wanted to show the prospect for rejuvenation. Um, we also experienced the ash fall, so I, I used a lot of elements of things that would have happened during this year to really inspire the work that I would have put together for this presentation. My first piece was inspired by the ash fall. I was really inspired by just the way outside looked. It was blanketed with the ash, but you could still see remnants of beauty. And I wanted to really show like a kaleidoscope of patterning, but in a monochromatic kind of tone. So that's what I was, you know, like playing around with for my first piece. I was also trying to experiment with symmetry and lines and forms and draping. So I did a lot of that to get these shapes that you would see in the first piece. The second piece was a, a simplified version of a ball gown for me. I wanted something that was playful, young, but still sophisticated and elegant. And once again, I wanted to play with the more subdued colors. As the year progressed, we saw the colors change from that grayish kind of look to a more brown look before the grass and stuff started to grow back. So I wanted to take a kind of literal take on the colors, but still, you know, like present them in an abstract way. For this next piece, I wanted to introduce some of the color that I am known for. And I chose green because I wanted it to represent rejuvenation and hope. 
Um, I played around with the fabric and I really liked the way the fabric was moving, but I didn't want to do a traditional dress. So I came up with a mighty on a palazzo pant and I really love the way it moves and the way she carries it. I think it's very beautiful. This next piece, I wanted to just capture flowy, elegant, effortless movement. Um, I used navy with a kind of a cream color, and I chose to put it by the Arabaro statue because I wanted it to subtly pick up the blue and yellow from in the Independence Square. One of the major things that I try to do as a designer is to incorporate the old and the new. So I try to incorporate traditional textiles and techniques with contemporary designs and, and innovative fashion. So for my next look, I wanted to have a take on a ball gown, on you know the Victorian kind of um, Sunday school kind of dress, but I wanted to bring it to the future, but also incorporate elements of our textiles in it. For the entire collection, I wanted to capture the African essence mixed with the, the Caribbean flair. I think that as Caribbean people, we are a real hybrid people of African and with our colonial past, the European ancestry. And I really wanted to marry the two of those. Um, so for my final piece, this, this one is inspired by the stilt man. And I wanted to show something that captures the royalty of Africa, but it also captures familiar elements, which would be within the stilt man and in our own cultural concepts. Um, I wanted to use fabrics, um, that would be traditionally European, so I used some silks and the jewelry in the entire collection was made from coconut fiber. And as an environmentally friendly brand, we always try to use natural fibers and elements of indigenous materials within our work. Um, all of our textiles is 100% natural, and that is also a testament to 
or care for the environment because we try to use things that when they degrade they will go right back into the environment. I want to take this opportunity to thank BMETS and the Fashion Pavilion for giving me the opportunity to take part in this online platform. I'm very excited to see how it is all going to come together because this is the future and you can reach me at any of the online um, social media platforms, Shakad Eco Lifestyle. The sign behind me definitely gives it away. Our next performer is a Barbadian maestro, a true son of the soil, a king of the road, the one and only, the mighty Griner. Joke and jam. Ha ha! So happy that we could do this. Well, I beginning to feel good. 
So when you're feeling good, all you've got to do is to let the music roll. Hehehe. <laughs> Hehehe.
the highlands of St. George at Gun Hill Signal Station and it promises commanding views of east through south to the west of the island. And speaking of commanding views, our next performer commands any stage he's on. Please welcome Hyapa Sounds. Boom music, shot vibes, I never be. I'm jumping up and I'm winging so good in a party, yeah, yeah. Friend home to do what is pleasing, man I jamming and whining, with so much I meaning. I free to do what I want, I'm taking advantage. I got sweet woman sandwich, one in front and behind. And the balling, I nice. Which one should I like? Where y'all here tonight, night, night? And the balling, cause it tight, tight. She feeling so right, right. Now come on, turn it down, man. Let me just put up. Right now is 
say for me, me not can be. Can get enough for your sweetness. So tell me, I need to stop. Don't tell me that. Don't do that. Don't tell me that. Sweetness only calling me, only calling me. You get in on your mask like a peel in a sugar. I be so hyper. You messing up in my face. Can your sweetness only calling me, only calling me. Sugar rush, sugar. Okay, it may have been a long evening, but it was an excellent evening. So I hope you enjoyed yourselves. We were there in the chat. We know who was there from the very beginning. And of course, we had a great time. I have to, of course, say thank you so much to the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Mia Moore Motley. A special thank you as well to His Excellency Noel Lynch, the Barbados Ambassador to the United States. Thank you to all the artists, our friends near and far, who contributed to make this night wonderful and special. Thank you, of course, to all of you who tuned in, told your friends, your family to tune in as well. And a big congratulations to our winners who will be joining us here in Barbados. Congratulations to Winston Cornell. We got to say congratulations to Eileen and Nadia, okay? So Cornell, Eileen, and Nadia, we'll be seeing you in Barbados soon, okay? You know how to find us, link us up, okay? And of course, a big thank you to the entire team. We were out and about. We worked hard so that we can bring you something exciting about Barbados. And I got to invite you all to stay tuned because we will continue to celebrate all things Barbados in the next coming days. It's going to be virtual, so I know that you would love to be here in Barbados for our celebration, but near, far, wherever you are, stay tuned. And of course, we got to celebrate all things Barbados. My name is Caroline C.C. Reed, and until next time, stay safe, God bless, and stay tuned. <music> Many a 
sportsman and woman have fought us for recognition. Musicians now we know we right. Inventors and scientists, craftsmen and artists, real talent in BIM. This is why I celebrate and ready to sing. I am proud to be a Bajan for sure. I am proud of my little nation for sure. Always room for improvement, pride without arrogance, hope for a better tomorrow. For the generations that follow, we are the heritage together. We represent this nation we call our home. Independence to republic, and yes, we have really progressed. Celebrate!